So welcome to your reading. I have messages for you. This is your seven day weekly reading. What is coming for you? What is coming to you in the next seven days? Let's see what you need to know. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on so you will not miss any of my videos. And let's get into this reading. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. All right. So Scorpio, what is coming to them in the next seven days? Spirit guides, angels, and ancestors of my highest good. Maybe you don't want to reunite with someone or you're not longing for someone. Maybe you want to stay to yourself in the next seven days, Aquarius. I mean, ooh, okay, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Or somebody with Aquarius. Well, I just got finished doing Aquarius, but you could have you could have been dealing with an Aquarius. Um, an Aquarius could have been your divine masculine or divine feminine, either or. Or you could be the Aquarius that's watching this, okay? So... Let's see what's coming for you in the next seven days, Scorpio. All right. Let's tap in and see what you need to know. Tell me, um, give me some for Scorpio. Protect me as I go into this reading to give the messages. All right. Any and all negative energy being sent to me and or to my collective of Scorpios, we return it to sender instantly we have smell the roses something here you doing something too fast take you some you time get out in nature well smell the roses in reverse maybe you're not taking your time or you're not slowing down in regards to something i don't know what this is maybe you don't want to think about something or you like ah, no okay yeah, I feel like something here about a boundaries. I feel like you don't want to take your time because this this could have been a family member of yours that crossed the boundary by having a love affair. Ooh, wee. Somebody had a love affair with a family member of yours. And you're like, yeah, nah, enough is enough. I'm done. Um, I'm tired of you or or whatever. Like, I mean, maybe you had maybe you defended yourself, but I feel like somebody just drew, I mean, the line was just drawn, crossed. I mean, damn, you like, man, damn, somebody, my blood though, like really Scorpio, like you could be like, damn, like really my blood, like you really would go and behind my back and sleep with my brother, my sister, my cousin, my auntie, my uncle, my mama, my dad, whoever this person slept with, I don't know, I'm just saying it, but somebody really, really did that to you here, they could have been keeping this on a little secret or sex fix or down low about their secret, I feel like Archangel Michael is on this karmic's neck, okay? with third party haters that came out in Aquarius is reading. So, so maybe there was an Aquarius. Oh, we, my nose is like on fire. <sighs> Somebody here did something child. And now they're suffering in silence about this. They're suffering in silence because you had some type of epiphany or this was a message that came to you. Yeah. Divine masculine authority, discipline, and father figure, self-reflection, answer questions and untapped talent. You had an epiphany about this person. All right, that they could have been living a double life and lying to you about it, or this divine masculine, or supposed to be a masculine. No, we just it's just says masculine energy. This person could have been living a double life, they could have been a cheater or a backstabber. Now they're stressed out. So something here could have happened. You just not taking your time in regards to something. You're moving very, very fast. What else is next here for Scorpio? Wow, we have intimacy. Yeah, I feel like something here, somebody crossed the boundaries like they just did too much or they were too disrespectful too disrespectful this is like something here that someone's did the ultimate it's like man don't cross this line and they jump over that line they run over here run over there they fuck up the line they make squiggly marks and sticky uh sticky people on the squiggly line that you told them not to cross intentionally crossed it they like no i'm gonna put sticky notes here i'm a i'm a say fuck your couch Pretty much like off Dave Chappelle, fuck your, out, fuck your couch. This is what they did. Literally. And this is why you blocked them and moved on from this person because they burnt the bridge. Like, you like, man, no, I'm tired of you causing me delays. I'm tired of it. Like, no, you burnt this bridge. You slept with somebody in my family. Like, man, you just like really, you, somebody here is foul, bro. This is someone here that's foul. Like, I'm talking about foul. We have vacation, so now you could be like trying to get away. You're trying to have fun. You're trying to relax. Maybe your head could be in the clouds. You're like, man, damn, I'm just hoping that you didn't do this. Maybe you could be finding this out today, Scorpio. I'm so sorry. You could be thinking about the good vibes that y'all shared or something here was significant about a birthday of yours. I 
or something is significant about a birthday. And you're just like, wow, like really you, you, did somebody cheat on some, damn, on your birthday? Somebody cheated on like a family member of yours on your B-day. It's like, damn, it's like the way to get me back, like cheat on them on my birthday. Like, damn. On my B-day. So it's like you intentionally wanted to cross my boundary. You intentionally wanted to hurt me. You intentionally wanted to see me like somebody is ruthless. I'm talking about ruthless. And I feel like this is someone that you went back to. This could be a, a cycle that's still open. Yeah, the sun card. You seeing things clearly now or everything is being shown to you. Could be a Leo you were dealing with. Yeah, I feel like you're really, really seeing how someone is very insecure. They could have ran a smear campaign about you. Or you really, really seeing how someone is like really just low down. Yeah. And it's like they could be blind to the actions that like hurt people with this justice card, Libra energy. This is someone here that doesn't care. Like, well, I, I don't care. Maybe, I don't know if you did anything to this person. If you hurt this person, I don't know what you did. But a secret is coming out about this Libra. Or about a Cancer or a Pisces. Or what they did to you. Because I feel like something just wasn't fair. It's only, it goes, it's like, for whoever this is, what I'm picking up, it's only fair to them. Like, what they deem as fair or what they deem as justifiable is fair to me. So, somebody's selfish. They're very selfish and inconsiderate. They think about their own feelings. Like, well, no, you did this to me, but I'm not thinking about the things that I have done to you or said to you or hurt you. Yeah. Yeah. So something here was supposed to be some type of mutual respect or unity or or something. Yeah, we have the magician in reverse. This is someone here that's not able to manifest. So things are very chaotic right now. This is like untapped talents. This is small pieces of money here because somebody here is working with a sex worker, a gold digger. Somebody's working with a sex worker. This could be a, a Capricorn, a Cancer, or an Earth sign that's um going through some type of unfortunate events here. But they're trying to keep it all together. This is like um, somebody's spell work has blown up in their face. It's like they can't take no time to do anything because, I mean, they can't manifest anything. With the magician in reverse, they don't have any power. They don't have any gifts. They just don't have it. They don't have the creativity. They don't have the spark. They don't have the drive. They just don't have it. A king of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, this could be a karmic couple that just does not have it. They trying to manifest off of other people, but it's like they're really, really scarce right now when it has to do with money, finances. They both cheat on each other. This couple is like really, really hurting right now. Yeah, it would deny we have the justice in reverse. What's the magician? In reverse. Virgo Gemini energy. Look, the Hierophant. This person's being looked at as like, man, you don't change your ways, but you you you're calling yourself this um you calling yourself a hierophant, but you're unfair. You a justice in reverse, and you're a high priestess in reverse, but you're calling yourself a hierophant energy or someone here that we should listen to or somebody here that deems knowledgeable, but you're not able to like change something about yourself. How can you call yourself knowledgeable? How can you call yourself a true magician or someone here with true power and intellect when you don't even take accountability or even have integrity or when you come off as a hypocrite? This is someone here that's not changing their ways and it's been supposed to, I'm talking about this was supposed to have been a change that occurred a long time ago. And this is why this person's like chaotic. Because it's like they they refuse to get over something with the death in reverse. And it's like they keep thinking like, hmm, on this journey, like how am I supposed to? Because they, they don't want to get over something. This is someone here that's holding on to old worthless matter or decay. And they're very unfair with the justice in, re in reverse. They're unfair. They cross lines. They cross over boundaries. They just do weird shit. Like, they, they just do whole shit, man. And they wonder why don't nobody respect them. They, they lie so much. The queen of swords, the star in reverse. They lie so much. And then they wonder why nobody respect them. They cross the boundaries. They cross. This could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Yeah, the world. They have a cycle open still with this warlock. 
the king of wands in reverse the knight of wands in reverse very scattered energy somebody's lying man So in the next seven days, Scorpio, shit, somebody possibly crossed the line with you. They were too disrespectful. What's the, what's the boundaries being crossed? Enough is enough. Defend yourself. Something here is confirmation for you. Page of Wands. This could be a messenger or something that somebody has said or you seen something, a picture or something here. When it crossed the line, when it comes to your child, your children, somebody crossed the line when it comes to a kid or somebody here that is younger. This is like, damn, like this is a young kid. Like maybe somebody was dating someone young. What the fuck is this? Page of Wands. The, the Page of Swords and they got legal issues from this? A Queen of Wands in reverse. So, good news to you is whoever this is that crossed the lines, they have legal issues. This is someone here that wants to be seen as a hierophant energy. That's someone that's very respected, um, loyal. They follow tradition, but they refuse to change. Also, somebody's attracted to children. Or maybe this is your kid crossing the line with you. They don't want to listen to you. And you're like, man, all right. You gonna do that shit if you want to, and you gonna you gonna be locked up, or you you think shit don't stink, okay? You think your shit don't stink, or you think you can do what you want to do? You gonna get locked the fuck up. I'm trying to tell you, you gonna get caught with a uh, hangman. If this is your child that's thinking that they're above the law, and you're trying to tell them like, man, don't cross that line, don't do this, don't do that, like, you gonna get got. And I feel like, yeah, with the hangman, your kid is not gonna listen to you. It, other than that, this could be someone here that could have been very manipulative. Yeah, your kid could be a, a fire sign, a Leo, a Sagittarius. Or if they're thinking that they're going to do something, they're going to get caught. Yep, the King of Swords is lying about having a one-night stand as well. They're, this secret is coming out about this King of Swords. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius about having a one-night stand. They cross the boundary. And I'm getting for some, it could be with a child. It could be with a page. Somebody here that's not even of age. Hopefully this isn't your child, Scorpio. And you like, oh, bitch, you gotta. Woo, child. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm, I'm just picking up a lot of energy. Oh, God. But somebody has some legal issues here. And it's bad. It's not good. They cross some type of boundaries here, Scorpio. The legal issues is bad. It's not good. There was supposed to be mutual respect between you and somebody. What's that? Yeah, an emperor. Give me this emperor. Or you and this boss, the CEO, this manager has mutual respect for each other. Yeah, okay. But the fool is in reverse and somebody's not taking accountability. Or somebody's getting bad news because they were very reckless. Or they took, they took a deep fall. Whatever this... <sighs> This emperor could be feeling foolish or whoever this is that decided to be reckless. It's all bad. This person was superficial. They were chasing the dollar. They didn't care how they got it, whether their legs was open or they, I don't know, man. Listen, but the justice in reverse is somebody going through their karma from being reckless. This is karma for them for being reckless. Now, I did see the sun card. So, something here about a pregnancy as well. So, somebody here could be pregnant. And, and this could be their karma. Because they wanted to be reckless. They wanted to be foolish. A foolish man or a foolish leader or a foolish boss. They wanted to be foolish. Now, they got themselves in some shit. Legal situation here. The fool card in reverse. You don't never want to have the justice in the fool card in reverse. That's just like you, your, your life is upside down or you're pitted or you, you're, you're failing. Because of the choices that you made. You were really being a fool out here. A foolish man. Or a foolish woman. Whoever this is in this damn... um, And this could have been intimately. Look, now they're the emperor in reverse. You see what I'm saying? There's a case open in the world. This person f f um, <sighs> fails to learn uh, a life lesson. Give me the emperor, the fool, the justice in reverse. So now they have karma. Yep, the page of pentacles. This may be in regards to money. A kid. Now I have to support this kid. The king of pentacles. 
something here about a child, a page of pentacles, a boy. It could be a boy. A kid, I don't know. What? What's? Yeah, I'm picking up also. Give me this king of pentacles and page of pentacles with the emperor. Yeah, okay. Knight of cups. So somebody could be dating here. This could be the same sex, uh, same sex couple. But if this is the same sex couple, the person been sneaking out with a with somebody else. This is like someone here that, that don't want nobody to know that they involved in the same sex, but a secret is coming out with them anyway, because this is a woman here. So maybe someone here is like, yeah, I know that you're like this. You know what I mean? It's okay with me. Don't worry about it. This was somebody possibly. I don't know who's saying this. I don't know. It could be a queen of pentacles in my verse. They don't mind dating down low men or they don't mind if they even if they open about it they don't mind because you know that is a thing some people like date uh people that are into the same sex and they're open doing that you know to each his own i'm not saying i yeah i'm just yeah i can't do it but anyway this queen of pentacles is losing they're taking a fall this could be a bad news for this queen of pentacles. Their destiny, something here with their destiny here. They could be a gold digger or a sex worker or this person is like something here about trafficking as well. Sex trafficking, crimes. I'm picking all of that up. So maybe this person, somebody could be getting busted here for um, exploiting a child. Maybe this child could have lied about their age. Don't know. But somebody possibly was sleeping with this child. This child probably, um, there's legal issues going on. Maybe this child could have, oh, I just don't like saying that in the same sentence. But divine intervention, something here is happening here. The judgment, the temperance. What's next? Yeah, we have the devil. You see what I'm saying? This could be a couple here that's devilish as fuck. The devil ain't got shit on this couple. They're unable to heal something in their finances due to all these secrets that's coming out about somebody getting an empress in reverse pregnant. Or an unwanted pregnancy with the empress in reverse. Or I'm getting this person is very codependent. This could be a doppelganger that somebody got pregnant and they're unable to heal their money issues, their finances. Because they let something so little or so small get to them. And it's like now, since they wanted to hurt someone so bad, now we have the, the empress and the son. Now somebody is pregnant or somebody has a distorted feminine pregnant. Now they expecting a baby. Give me some in closing here for <sighs> Scorpio. Ten of Wands. Somebody here stressed out. Or they're, they're forced to lay something to rest, the four swords. They're forced to heal or, or whatever this is. What's the Ten of Wands? Something here is very hard. What's the Ten of Wands here for Scorpio? The Queen of Swords. So somebody's forcing someone to speak or say something or whatever someone speaks and says. Somebody finds it hard to communicate the truth or hard, find it hard to have discernment. Because I feel like whatever someone says, it has somebody looking stupid or it has somebody looking like a loser. And now they're not attracted to them anymore. They're like, no, nah, I don't want you. The Ace of Wands in reverse. Like, mm -mm. This could be someone even talking about like a penis. Like, no, nah, your penis don't get up for me and I don't want it. Or somebody here could be talking about how small somebody's penis is behind their back. So their friends, the Three of Cups, they're laughing at it. Like, look at it. It look like a little shrimp. Somebody talking about somebody's penis behind their back and they're ashamed. Like, well, that's why your penis is little anyway. That's why your dick's small. Okay. All right. That was very petty. <laughs> I'm talking about like somebody here is getting back. Like, they is, somebody is upset. They are very, very upset. Okay. And they're scorned. <laughs> somebody is pissed. But I'm going to leave it there, Scorpio. Hopefully, you was able to find some messages in here. Um, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on so you have not missed any of my videos here. And this is your weekly reading the next seven days. Maybe you may be finding this out. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye.